But look, we got some voicemail callers. I got to hear it really quick. We're going to jump straight into the voicemail callers. Let's do it right now. We got the first one. Here he is. Let's do it. Hey, man. This motherfucking specialist Curtis in the motherfucking U.S. of the motherfucking army. What up? Hey, somebody got to tell Lamar that shit trash, boy. This nigga don't run the ball no more. I'm so upset, boy. <laughs> Yeah, that's all you got. Okay, I think that's all that you got. You made me mad all over again, bro. That's really all I had to say, bro. Lamar, you ain't shit, boy. Fuck you. Oh, dog. Oh, dog. That's wild. Come on, bro. You ain't had to go there, man. I mean, yeah, Lamar Jackson struggled, but I didn't even touch on this yet in the episode, but we're going to transition into it, obviously. But here's the thing about Lamar. A lot of people are putting blame on Lamar Jackson, and yes, he does deserve a lot of the blame that happened because Lamar did overthrow some open passes. He overthrew some easy passes as well, and then the run game, he, he didn't really run the ball. I mean, that's not really his first option to go to anymore as he's matured in the game of football and as he's matured as a quarterback. So I'm not even upset that he didn't run the ball, um, but ultimately this was a collective effort from the Baltimore Ravens offense, bro. I mean, their defense held their own. The defense did everything they were supposed to do up until the last second of this game, the last drive of this game. The defense kept the Ravens all in the game. But the offense could not help them at all. They didn't do anything, bro. Like, it's not all on Lamar Jackson. There was times where uh, there was there was drop passes from the wide receivers early on in the game. There was some easy passes that should have been caught. Like I said, Lamar overthrew a few touchdown passes that could have turned big. Zay Flowers, oh, man, bro, you know what happened with Zay Flowers, the wide receiver. Taunting call, moved them back a little bit. Um, You had you had to fumble in the end zone, moved them back. Oh, my, like, all of these different things, bro. You can't throw it all on Lamar Jackson for this, but definitely, I'm not going to let that slide because he does deserve some credit. Although Lamar Jackson is one of my favorite quarterbacks right now in the NFL, you cannot let that slide because he didn't show up. He didn't show up. He he should have definitely showed up a lot bigger than what he did, bro, and, and bruh. He he didn't do his thing at all. So, we got another voicemail caller. Let's do it. Let's hear what he got to say. Tyler from Jackson. I got a take on the game the today deal? with the Chiefs Ravens. You got a banged up Chiefs defense. Mm. You got a defense on the other side that may be the best of the decade so far. Mm. What else do you want to ask for? There's one man to save us all. Lamar, save us. <laughs> you are the Avengers. You're looking in the eyes of Thanos and Patrick Mahomes and Travis Kelsey and whatnot. Save us all. We know you will. Patrick Queen, Roquan Smith, the boys, just save us. Plain and simple. Oh, bro. Oh, bro. Okay, let me give you a little context. Oh, bro. So this was, he sent this in before the game. I, I'm looking at the time he sent it in. This was before the game on Sunday. Oh, bro. Damn. So if you didn't, if you're not aware, there was a whole thing on all the social medias where people were saying, Lamar, save us. They didn't, everybody, everybody in America was damn near going for the Ravens to win, bro. Just because they were tired of seeing Chiefs win year after year they were tired of seeing Pat Mahomes they got tired of seeing the Taylor Swift coverage so that's where this Lamar save us came from that's why Tyler from Jackson is saying Lamar we need you to save us <laughs> but it didn't happen I wanted Lamar to save us too but damn that's tough it was tough man it was tough that was a tough break, man. I'm, I'm sorry Lamar couldn't save us. At this point, I will say, I, I don't even care that <laughs> that the Chiefs are about to go win it. I, I hope the Chiefs go ahead and win it at this point, bro. Like, you know, I mean, Brock Purdy is a savior, but if people were saying, Lamar, save us from Taylor Swift going to the Super Bowl, it's too late. She's already there. <laughs> She's already there. Cue, 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 uh, what? Cue the music. Cue the music. I would play it, but, you know, copyright issues. I would play it. Uh, Taylor Swift, 1989. <laughs> I'll play it, but nah. Yeah, Lamar didn't save us, bro. Lamar failed to save us. I posted a video on uh, socials as well. It gave a quick recap of the game. It said Lamar indeed did not save us. Zay Flowers hurt his hand, fumbling the ball and hitting the bench. It was silly, bro. It was, it was really silly, man. Um, but anyway, look. All right, we got some NBA scores coming up. And then you got to help me out here because I, I think I might be a bandwagon, bro. I, I think I might be a bandwagon NFL fan. <laughs> You got to help me out, please, bro. I, you got to help me out. All right, look, we'll take a quick break. It's halftime. Let's do it.